Hi everyone, this is a pick a card reading for who is coming to you next, what are their intentions and what else I see, you know, going on in this situation. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a look and see who's coming. And we have these three wonderful piles. By the way, I'm so excited for the charm reading that I'm going to be doing for each of these readings because I have incorporated some new crystals for the charm readings as well, which have messages on them. So I'm so excited. Um, all right. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really excited. So we've got group one here with Rider weight and this beautiful blue crystal with the uh, silver... Um, glitter bottle. We've got here the Golden Universal deck with this absolutely beautiful yellow setup. And then we've also got here group three with the red quartz crystal and of course this um, pinkish potion of glitter. So this is Tattoo Tarot by the way. Um, so we're going to have a look and see what is coming through for your readings and I just always want to mention as well, you know, if you would like to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is always in the description box below and uh, they're done within 24 to 48 hours. The timestamps for each of these readings will be found in the description box below as well and you can check it out and go to your readings. Um, by clicking on it and the last thing I want to mention is my Etsy store So it's moonlight tarot store on Etsy intention manifesting items such as handmade bracelets Necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, uh, which you can put under your pillow and your wallet or your purse. Check out the review section to see how other people have seen results. And also face masks, crystals, divination coins, pendulums, cloths, bowls, etc. Um, are on there as well. So, you know, charms and letters as well. Do want to mention that too. Uh, that is all there uh, as well on my Etsy store. The link is in the description box below to that as well. All right, so let's start with group one first, then we'll move on to two and then group three. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm very carefully going to maneuver this back a little bit so I have a bit more space. And then let's just move these to the side as well. Oh, that was a lot easier than I thought, I think because they're standing up. Okay, talking about the bottles by the way. <laughs> okay, right, so let's have a look. I don't know why I'm really excited, I'm very feeling very enthusiastic about this reading, in all honesty. Okay. So, group number one, let's have a look and see who is coming to you next and their intentions. Question mark. Question mark. Real question mark. Okay, so you have chosen this blue pile. I'm going to put the blue potion right there. I'm going to put the crystal right next to it, right there. And let's have a little look. Actually, let's put it there. And put it there, next to the doorway. Because <laughs> I feel like it, and plus I need some space for the cards. Okay, let's take a look and see where we are headed with this reading. Who is coming to next? I'm also going to get some uh, oracle cards out and some um, energies from, well, I don't know how to describe it. It's basically a deck which has like star signs in it. It also has houses in it and it also has planets as well. So that can maybe give you more information as well. So that's basically, because I can't just say, oh, I'm going to get your star signs because I mean, I do feel like that may come through in other ways, but uh, that's not everything that's in that particular deck. So, yeah, so, and we're also going to do a charm reading as well. So, got a lot of information coming through. Okay, who's coming to you next? Tower with the Eight of Cups. Um, okay, 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 with the Harvard. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just like so all over the place here. All right. Eight of Cups. Tower, Mars Energy, Hierophant. Let's get these cards on the table. Three of Cups. Three of Pentacles. Oh. I'll take those as well, because they flipped over. Alright, so I was gonna eight, aim for eight cards. So we have a few more here, which is totally fine. So what I see here, um, especially with this Queen of Swords, we've also got the Page of Wands as well. We have the World card, the world in my hands. 
um, we've got the death card and the two of cups here as well. So, who is coming next? Well, you know, we've got very strong Scorpio energy, we've got very, very strong um, Taurus energy, we've got very strong Aries energy, because Aries is tied to Mars. We've also got very strong Saturn energy as well, which I think is really interesting. Um, got quite heavy Capricorn energy coming through too, so with, with that I feel... Um, it's so interesting. I just feel like the kind of person that is coming to you next is someone who can perhaps be a really great fit for you, but it also comes with a few obstacles. So the beginning of it may be a little bit not so fun, um, especially with the Eight of Cups. You may feel like this person's quite hot and cold. You may feel like this person perhaps sometimes doesn't really show you interest, but you also feel very, very attracted to them. And the Tower here shows that essentially like those hopes and expectations that you have, um, you know, may make you feel like, oh my god, this person's like not very nice, or that they're just not very stable, but then actually things do get stable. I, so I see this connection as something that kind of brings this unexpected transformation, like you talk to this person and you're like, mm, it's okay, but then it only just gets better. That's the kind of vibe that I get, and especially with the blue this is, you know, the blue pile, it's about intuition, it's about going with the flow, it's about assessing the situation as it is, because I really feel like that's literally what's happening, you've got so much water energy that's present here, with the eight of cups, with the three of cups, with the two of cups, with the death card as well, it really is about going with the flow, and it's very unexpected, I will say, is that this person can come through in a very unexpected way, can connect with you. At the beginning, you might feel like, mm, not really sure this person's my type. You feel attracted to them, but then their behavior can seem a little bit erratic, and you might feel like, mm, I don't really think this is worth it, but then you still feel attracted. But at the beginning, you might feel like, mm, this is not my regular type. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's very all over the place as to how you feel about this person. But then it gets stronger, especially with the Hierophant. Um, they can really be quite conversational with you. You may feel like, wow, okay, like they're talking to me and, you know, it seems to flow very well and it seems to actually be getting better step by step, day by day. And so that can also make you feel um, much, much better and much happier, especially with the Three of Cups. There's this like synchronized energy um, that it is happening. So there can be this nice social energy. You plan to do things together with the Three of Pentacles, and you get to know this person more, which clears up any of the confusions that you had at the beginning, and they seem to really put in effort and energy with the Page of Wands and the Queen of Swords, respecting your boundaries and respecting you as a person. So in the beginning, you may be really unsure about this person, yet still be attracted, but still be like, mm, this is not my regular type, you know, and, and feel like I'm not really sure about this. But then as time goes by, especially with the World card, and of course this Two of Cups, you feel satisfied, you feel fulfilled, and it really grows to something very, very loving. Um, so that's what I'm seeing here is that, you know, at, at the beginning, you may even feel like I'm just, you know, I feel attracted to this person, but I'm just not sure if I can like picture myself with this person kind of a vibe, um, especially with the Eight of Cups and the Tower, you may feel like this is just not, you know, my kind of thing. Um, because, you know, the thing is, right, you can be attracted to someone, but still not feel like they are the person for you, you know, you know what I mean? Um, the best way I can give you an analogy for that is like celebrities, for example. There are some celebrities that are very good looking, but you just know that a life like that would just never work. And, you know, it, it's just not, it's, it's just not it, you know? Um, <laughs> so that's, that's basically what I'm seeing. And so the death card here shows a real transformation. So it goes from uncertainty to a bit more certainty for sure. And I think that's just really interesting. It's like never come through in this regard. Um, in the reading, but obviously it did here. Um, so, well, that's what we have there. So let's now go to your other cards and see what's coming through. So I'm gonna go first with this Oracle deck and then this Astro Soul deck, which I talked about at the beginning, and then we'll go to Charms. Da -da 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 -da. do we have here? Quite a few cards have come out here. Um, so what's really interesting that I pick up here is that we've got here mature woman. We've got here young male. Now I just want to point out as well that I do 
sorry, my, the, my cards were covering the microphone. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't know if you heard me, but basically I said mature woman, young male, and then I was going to proceed to say um, that I read specifically based on energies, not specifically genders, because, you know, whether you're in, like, whether you're looking for, or if you're in, a male male relationship, female-female relationship, male-female relationship, whatever kind of relationship you're in, essentially it can still make sense because we read energies, not specifically genders, and also every person has um, a mix of masculine and feminine energies, right? Um, so it's one thing to also definitely keep in mind, and um, so basically this will resonate in different ways, right? And so that's what I'm seeing is that for some of you, you know, there could be a mature woman that comes into picture, or you could be a mature woman um, who is attracting this young male because we do have here this page of uh, wands and we do also have the queen of swords so again that was your mature woman and then a young male now bearing in mind maturity can also be to do with not just age right but it can be to do with like how you are as a person your demeanor your attitude your values etc as well now it can also be the reverse so you could be a young male who's attracting a mature woman that's what I mean as well this person may not be like who you regularly go for but the other thing is well is that if you are for example um, a woman and you are you know wanting to attract a woman let's say it could be a, a you know mature woman um, but I'm mostly seeing this not based on age but in terms of characteristics and personality as well is that someone who is mature can be much more um, empathic can be much more open much more um, understanding things like that as well so I'm not specifically just talking about age and I also feel like there is a young soul old soul by <laughs> oh, can't even speak today wow oh my god this reading is like all over the place but anyways um, what I'm trying to say is young soul old soul so Young souls are typically those who have had less past lives than older souls. Old souls have had lots and lots of past lives, lots of incarnations. They have way more life experience in that sense. I know that sounds funny to say. So in that sense, you know, I feel like either you could be a, um, I feel like you're an old soul that is attracting a young soul, but also you could be a young soul attracting an old soul. You know what I mean? Because that's what I'm seeing here. I am, this reading is going to resonate with a lot of people, but in so many different ways. Um, and obviously you have your own preferences too, but I'm just saying you may, you know, expect the unexpected in this case. But uh, this is what we have right here. And then the other two cards that also came through with it is travel. Um, so I definitely feel like there could be some travel here. It could be um, that you travel to see this person or that they're a little bit more of a distance from you because you do have the world card here as well. Could be that you meet over social media because we have got here the communication card or that you keep in touch over social media as well. So that is what we have right there. Um, and that's that's pretty much what we have got going on in that sense. So let me move my cards over here. Okay, cool. So let's have a look and see what's coming through with the Astro Soul deck. So yeah, the communication is going to be pretty strong here and they're really going to make an effort from what I can pick up on and that's going to be their intention. They can also make an effort to travel to you as well. Anything? 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 Okay, so we have got Cancer. So we've got Water Energy, which again, I'm not really surprised by. The reason for that is because you have got here the Blue, and you've also got Libra as well. We actually got a lot of signs in this particular reading because we also had Aries, we also had Taurus. We also had Capricorn, we had Scorpio, and now we've got Libra, which I'm not surprised by because you've got the Queen of Swords, right? And we've also got Cancer as well. It's sort of like that watery energy, right? Going with the flow kind of energy. So that's what we've got there in terms of signs. We've got a lot of signs out for sure. I actually think that's really, really wonderful um, in many ways. So that's what we have right there. Let me just move some of these things to the side. Okay, now let's go straight into the um, charm reading as well and see what is coming through right there, which I'm so excited about because I added some crystals, which I'm really, really excited about as well. Okay, so let's do the letters first. So this could be um, initials, it could be words that are basically spelled out for who is coming next. 
Okay, so you have got here U, M, E, F, D, L, H, P, and a K as well. So if you see certain words that make sense, let me know. Um, usually I'm very good at finding words, but today, you know, this is what, I'm just like, guys, this is what we have, okay? <laughs> this is what we have. So let's go now to the crystals, which I'm so excited about, so excited about. Okay. Okay, so we have got here, um, oh my god, <laughs> that like, literally scared me, and sorry if you're wearing headphones or something like that, um, <laughs> it's like a lot. So you've got here Nurture, and you've also got Peace as well. It, both of these are really interesting to me, because I definitely feel like this person can be very, very comforting, this person can be very peaceful. Um, at the beginning, you may feel like things are very all over the place, and they're just not what you want them to be. But this person really grows into themselves to, and, and also towards you as well, to give you a lot of that peace, a lot of that satisfaction, a lot of that joy, and a lot of that happiness that you truly do deserve as well. So I really feel like this person sort of grows into it all and just becomes an overall better person. Um, this, you know, this nurturing energy again comes through with cancer. Like this person is very, very kind, caring, um, very respectful. Now it could be that actually you are this person. If you are a cancer, then I feel like I'm talking about you because the cancer is also this very like nurturing energy which comes across as also this sort of mature woman kind of energy but remember that's also an energy I'm not specifically describing a person it could make sense for some of you in that way um, but the cancerian energy is known to be like you know, this, this mother who is so caring and nurturing, but we know that males can also be cancers as well. So, you know, it's one of those things to keep in mind that this reading will resonate in a vast number of ways. Um, and the reading is very open in that sense. Some of my readings are so specific that it's going to resonate or it's not. This one's very open. So I'd say keep an open mind um, with it. And the peace card, sorry, not peace card, peace crystal here, um, again, is really showcasing as well. This person's very peaceful. They're very, they're just non, not fussy. And they will totally, totally walk over their ego to protect you, to be there for you, to stand up for you, to comfort you in times that are very distressing for you. They'll never abandon you or leave you in moments that you, that you need them in. Um, but they grow into that. And I think that's really important to note is that they grow into that. And again, you've got here this blue crystal as well. So blue seems to be the overall theme, uh, really, of your reading as it comes through. And this is really, really showcasing that meditating on your throat chakra can be very powerful because your throat chakra is about communication. And the thing here is that you can also get a little... Oh, you can't make this up. Oh, boom. There you go. There's a synchronicity right there. Communication, throat chakra. It's blue, right? So... Yes, meditate on your throat chakra, and that can really help to boost communication between you and this incoming person who's coming next to you, and it can also allow things to go a lot smoother as well, because at the beginning, things can be not so great, um, you know, I'm not even going to lie to you, but things get better as time goes by, and it's also about keeping an open mind and an open heart, which is exactly what this piece crystal is about, so I definitely recommend that in, you know, in so many ways, I think that's one of the best things that you really can do, and uh, I just feel like there's there is this energy of basically things getting better. It's like you're on a journey and it's not necessarily all about the destination. It's, it's about the journey. And the, to be honest, you know, the cancer energy is literally about that. It's about the journey and enjoying that rather than just focusing on the destination, which is interesting because again, that travel card makes a lot of sense now. So that's what we have right there. So let's have a look at your charms and see what's coming through um, and what messages I can give you. Okay, so let's have a look. Oh wow, look at that. So I have just recently put in these um, lollipop colors, um, which basically represent chakras. And literally there are two blue ones here and there's one yellow. So the yellow one is the solar plexus chakra. So um, the chakras to meditate on, I feel really, really significantly, especially for you here is the throat chakra, 
is, is absolutely number one from what I'm seeing here. Um, and also the solar plexus chakra as well. Now the solar plexus chakra is the solar energy, which is the sun's energy. So that brings forward positivity, joy, um, much more peace, growth, fulfillment, um, and areas of that. So um, yeah, wow, you've got more communication energies coming through. I feel like this person would be a good communicator, but this is also um, for your side of things as well. So that's literally what we have there. Now you've also got the rose quartz crystal, um, the star as well. So this is about healing. So healing things from your past. Now what I will say is that this person can be a very good communicator. The other thing that I really do pick up on is at the beginning, you know, things may be a little bit all over the place. There can be some healing that is necessary also on your part as well to sort of let them in as well because some of you may be very closed off to this particular person in a certain way because they might trigger you in regards to something to do with your past. They might trigger you in another way. You may not feel ready for them. Things like that, okay, especially with the tower. So this is about healing. And again, you have here another quartz as well. This is a beautiful holographic one. So this is the clear quartz, but it's, it's technically holographic, so it's not really clear, is it? But you, you get my point. Um, so that, again, is very much so to do with healing, you know, healing from the past, letting this person come in, and, and being open, right? So I think that's really important. We've got here this little flower charm as well, which you probably can't even see. It's so tiny. Um, by the way, these charms and letters are available in my Etsy store to purchase if you are interested in them, um, because I get so many questions, so I thought I'd just, you know, throw it in there. But... Um, this is about nurturing, you know, your personal growth, your personal development, not being afraid of who you are as well, and sort of letting things unfold, right? You're not going to shout at a flower and say, hey, grow faster. You're just going to naturally let it bloom, and you're going to give it what it needs, which is water, sunlight, right? So again, two energies, water, sunlight. So solar energy, but also going with the flow, giving it the flow, giving it the water and the nourishment that it needs. Wow, I just described a relationship and a connection and a person coming towards you as a flower. I feel like it's very, very possible that you can have a connection, aka a, like also a relationship with this person going forward, which I think is interesting as well. Because it's not always that the next person come coming is going to give you that, but I really feel like this, per this person with you could turn into a relationship. So this one says, perhaps love, perhaps love. So yeah, I feel like that's also giving us a big hint as to the fact that this could really turn into a quite a strong um, relationship in that sense. I just also recognise that my nails are really badly chipped when I go close up, and I really do apologise about this. this. These are my natural nails, by the way, it's just that, you know, sometimes <laughs> I just leave them on for a very long time, and then I just, you know, forget that I need to redo them. By the way, we've got a Z here, and we also got a, oh, time as well. So yeah, this is, this is a work in progress, this particular connection. It can take some time also for this person to come through. And then you've got here... What is this? It looks like a little oh it's upside down, that's why. Yeah, I was gonna say it looks like a little fox because I had it the I had it backwards, I had it this other way around, and I turned it around this way. It is a fox. Um so <laughs> this person kind of like sneaks into your life and you're like, oh, oh, I'm not sure about this. Um but the fox is also very wise. Uh, foxes are quite smart. Yes, they can be sly, but I feel like more so this person can be like foxy, you know? That's the kind of way I want to describe it. I don't want to describe this person as sly because I don't feel that they are. They're more so foxy, you know, when you, um, <laughs> it's it's a phrase, okay? So that's just what I'm seeing. If I, if I see it, I'm going to say it, you know? That's one of the things. So um, this is your reading, group number one. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, reading giveaway, and of course, intention items which are on Etsy, which have also got the charms and the letters as well on there. So do check those out and take care everyone. All right, so now I'm gonna move on to group number two. Let's just clear some of this away very quickly and we shall move on. Wow, what a reading, I have to say. Okay. Let's put these on the side. Oops. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, let me fix that. There we go. All right. Let's have a look and see what we have going on for you. Group number two. Oh, 
oh I love this I love this deck so much this is like a deck that have, I have been using for so many months on end right when I first purchased it and then I got so many other decks that I barely ever used it again so here we go here we go I love this deck I love it I love it I just need to use it more all right So group number two, hello, how are you? I just noticed as well that your timestamp for your reading is repeating, it was 25.25, how cool is that? All right, anyways, so you have chosen this beautiful yellowish, goldenish theme, because uh, this is Golden Universal, so you'll see the cards and you'll see what I mean in a second. So let's put this here, we're gonna see who is coming to you next and what their intentions are, because you know, we need to know. So. Let's have a look, make that a little bit more straight. Okay, so I am going to get out eight cards. We're gonna see what's coming through. Then I'm going to also pull um, Oracle cards. I'm also gonna pull some, um, well this, I'm gonna pull a deck, which I don't even know how to describe it. It's basically an astrology deck, so it can give us planets, houses, and also um, it may give us star signs as well. So it could give us like whatever comes out basically. And uh, we're also gonna do a charm reading. I'm so excited because I'm also gonna incorporate some crystal messages, which I'm so excited about because they're crystals with actual messages on them. So stay tuned, stay tuned for that. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, 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 okay. Right, we've got a lot of cards, so let me start by placing them down. So we've got here the Nine of Wands. That's, and I'm an upright reader, I thought I'd just mention that. Then we've got here the Three of Cups. We've got the Nine of Cups. You've got the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, wow, Two of Cups, nice. You've got the Judgment card. Six of Cups. Oh wow, amazing. Okay, all right, there they are. So we've got a bonus card as well. So you've got the Hierophant, I'll show you that card, Hierophant and the Nine of Pentacles. Oh wow, group number two. Wow, wow. I mean, if you've been looking for a sign of like where your abundance is, it's definitely, it's definitely coming, all right? It is, it is in the wings. It's gonna come. I know you're wondering. It is. I see a nine here as well, especially for those of you wondering about time frames, because that's your next question. Like, okay, well, when's it gonna happen? Um, nine. It's gonna vary for many of you, but I see a nine, okay? So take that into consideration that um, I'm reading for a lot of people here. For some of you, it could literally be nine days. For some of you, it could be nine weeks, and for some of you, it could be nine months, okay? And I know that sounds so vague. I really do apologize. Obviously, this is not a private reading. This is more of a general reading, but I see a nine, and I hope that nine really helps you. You know, it, it probably doesn't, but I really hope it does help you because you've got nine, nine, and nine. You got three nines. <laughs> so you also chose the yellow pile, which is more golden-y, I would say, but um, you've literally got those two items there. And this literally reminds me of like positivity, you know, keep positive, continue to do the things that spark joy, right? Again, with the yellow, spark joy within you that allow you to grow, that make you feel good, that give you a purpose, that makes you feel happy, right? Because that's the sun's energy. It's also the solar plexus color as well, the solar plexus chakra color, which is yellow. And that again is just showing that, you know, uh, spend some time, you know, go out when it's sunny and, and just soak in the sunshine for a little bit, not to the point where you get burnt, let's just say, okay, so like first thing in the morning or really, you know, a bit more in the afternoonish time, but like after like 4 p.m., 5 p.m., that kind of you know, after that time, because we don't want to get burnt and we don't want to harm ourselves, you know, with the sun's energies, because it can be very powerful, but just, you know, soaking in a little bit of sunshine can be really good for you, and I also feel like it can really boost, again, more of that positive energy as well, because I really see positivity coming into your life. I feel like the next person that comes into your life is going to be just this ray of sunshine, and I just feel like this person is going to be someone that just makes you think, like, wow, is this too good to be true? You know, this person is incredible, this person just seems to get me, this person 
makes me think about the world, makes me think about so many things, like you'll always be very inquisitive and this person you will think about so much, especially with the nine of wands, right? So there's this energy here of like thinking, wondering, pondering, contemplating, it's like, wow, you know, it's just, just wow, like, wow, this person's like this, this person's like that, you know, I haven't met somebody like this before, it's exciting, it's intriguing, it's fulfilling, it's just like, wow, you know, that's literally what I see here, and then with this three of cups, you've just got this really nice energy of just being able to socialize with them, get your, you know, talk about fun things, do fun things, talk about anything and everything, and just have so much fun whilst doing so, again, very uplifting, positive, sunshine-like energy, you know, going out, doing fun things, um, that's, that's the kind of vibe I see with this person, and even with this nine of cups, emotionally, you will feel very, very comfortable with this person, and I think that that's so important, you know, that emotional intimacy part of it is just so significant, you can talk to this person about anything that's bothering you, you don't have to worry about, oh my god, is this person going to think I'm too intense, no, because they are very, very similar to you in that sense. Now, obviously, they're not going to be like a complete mirror of you. You know, they'll have differences, of course, to you. But in terms of values, goals, um, the emotional availability of this person, they're going to be very mutual towards you. Mutual to the point where they understand you. Mutual to the point where they get you. Mutual to the point where they have the similar kind of values to you. So they, they would never treat you badly because they themselves know how it is to be treated badly and also I genuinely feel like this person would never want to be treated in that way so therefore they would never treat someone else like that so they would, I don't feel this person would treat you badly in that sense and they'd be very very available and open to just knowing you and being there for you and things like that which we pick up as well. So Queen of Pentacles here very respectful person, their intentions are to be honest, their intentions are to take things further forward, to see how things go, but also to be present and available, uh, not just, you know, physically, but emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, you know, available for the connection, and to also be positive, and not to drag you down, or to belittle you, or to criticize you, or to be toxic, that is not their intention at all, see, the intention here with the Two of Cups is to be mutual, and to be responsible, and to be self-aware, and have integrity, you know, um, in the whole connection, and to really just show you that, you know what, I'm here, I'm here, what do you need, you know, and, and to really be there for you in such a mutual way, where it's, it's just beautiful, it, to me, this is like a really lovely, um, energy of like friendship slash relationship coming together. So, you know, I, I always believe that the most important thing of any relationship, you know, romantic, is that the groundwork of it needs to be a strong friendship you know, a strong friendship where you could talk to this person about anything, you can enjoy life, you can also get through the hardships, but you can also be constructive with one another, because that's important for personal growth and development, and that's exactly what I see here, is that this connection has a really strong friendship, um, a friendship foundation, there we go, friendship foundation to it, which I think is so important, it's also really spiritually, um, protected by the divine, so this, I feel, can be a soulmate, um, in that sense as well, I really feel very strong soulmate energy here, and, um, what else, I mean, you see, the, the judgment card definitely goes to show as well that you'll really be thinking about this person, and it will make a very positive transformation in your life, because you've got here very strong Scorpio energy that's coming through, um, so Scorpio could be one of the signs, but we'll, we'll see what else comes through with the other decks and the other cards that I do have present, but for sure, with the judgment card, there is a really potent and very, very powerful energy of this person transforming your life, making you feel like, wow, you know, like, my life really has changed, this person's brought so much positive change, six of cups, they're very giving, and that is something that really comes through, very giving, very romantic, and their intention is not to love bomb you, their intention is to be consistent, I think that is the most important key love bombing is when people like just, you know, shower, shower, shower with gifts and attention and then it just never continues and it just, you know, it's, it's like a one hit wonder kind of thing. Um, that's not the case here, this person's very consistent and they like to give because they're a giver, naturally. And also, we've got the Nine of Pentacles, so they appreciate you wholeheartedly or will appreciate you wholeheartedly for who you are. But also, um, their intention is that they want to, again, just be themselves and not be anything but themselves. And they don't expect you to be anything but yourself either. They don't expect you to, you know, go above and beyond to show that you're a different person. Also, by the way, Nine of Pentacles shows that this person's financially very stable as well. That comes across also with the Hierophant as well, very financially stable in regards to career and I feel the home 
the home life. It could also be that their family is very successful or very wealthy. Um, things like that as well are coming through, but the Hierophant shows that they are in it for a long-term connection. So that's something to really keep in mind. The long-term comes here, uh, comes through here with the um, the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. So you've got Taurus and Scorpio coming through quite strong. Let's see what's coming through the Oracle deck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, that literally scared me. Okay, <laughs> so we have got here many, many messages. So we've got here karma, okay, so your good karma is coming back to you. Remember, karma is not just bad stuff, it's also the good stuff, so good karma can also come to you as well. So there's a doorway that's opening, it actually reminds me of this little doorway I have here. Your do doorway is opening towards the light, do you see how there's light right behind that door? So again, that really reminds me again of this solar, sun's energy, positivity that's coming through here. I also feel, um, especially since we have here courting man as well, that's really interesting. Now, if you're a male and you are, you know, you're hoping for a female to come through, then obviously, you know, this can be you. But I also feel here as well that this person will come to you and then, you know, you can um, progress with them. However, you're, if you're a female and you're looking for a male, for example, then again, this can be the energy of someone chasing, pursuing you. Now, if you're a female looking for a female, then, you know, this is take on board the energies because I don't always read genders. And I think that's really important to consider here as well. Um, you know, whether you are a male that is interested in a male or a female that's interested in a female or a female that's interested in a male and a male interested in a female. Did I just say, you know, what, whatever your preferences are, essentially this is about someone that will pursue you ultimately, okay? So that's what I'm trying to get through in regards to that. Um, you've also got here gossip as well. So, you know, the thing here is that you might feel really tempted to kind of talk about this person to other people, not in a bad way, but kind of just like, oh, you know, I met this person and this person's like really intriguing and like, you know, what do you think? And like, you know, things like that I do see here, especially with the three of cups. Um, um, but I don't see it as bad gossip, which I think is really, really important to keep in mind. Um, so we also have here as well, brunette female. So again, take this on board, how it resonates, because this could also be that, again, because we had that family link, could be that someone in the family um, is a brunette female or that you're introduced to this person via a br brunette female. Could be that you are a brunette female. Um, could be that this person could be a brunette female. You know what I mean? So sometimes these messages come out in lots and lots of different ways. So again, that's something to really keep in mind as well. And the other thing here that we have, which I think is really interesting, is control. Now, control basically means um, that, you know, you may want things to go a certain way. You may th want things to progress, you know, at a certain speed. But this person tends to be a little bit slower in terms of making their decisions and things like that. So again, that's something to keep in mind is that may not be as fast as you would like it to be. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just also about sort of having that control and just being like, you know what, it's okay. I'm going to go with the flow. I'm going to see how it goes. And I don't need to control everything all the time. So that's something to keep in mind as well. Um, this person can also be someone, again, that also likes to be in control. They like to sort of see how things are going. They don't like to be pressured and things like that. But they also are very um, open and very giving. And, you know, the control energy here can be seen as a bad thing. But I don't feel overall that it is a bad thing. And the reason I say that is because they are very, very giving. And they're very kind and very caring from the messages that I have also got out as well. It's very natural for every human being in some way, shape or form to want control. Um, I think that it's very, very normal. And I don't see this. As a red flag. I just want to add that as well. Not for this reading. I mean, if the cards were different, it would be a different situation. As in, you know, tarot cards as well. Sorry, I just thought I heard something. I think it's um, the ice machine in the fridge, which is all, all the way in the kitchen, but I can always hear it. So that's the thing. Um, when the ice is made and then it goes into the other section bit. <laughs> that really scared me. Okay, so we've got here some houses. Okay, that's interesting. So I, I kind of spoke about signs um, in many ways. So not much is coming through in regards to like other signs, but we have got here 10th house and 2nd house. So it says here, this is the house of fulfillment and social status. Here is where we see structures, corporations, tradition, ambition, public image and fame, discipline, achievements, recognition, rules and father figure. Um, it is also associated with power, 
an authority as well as people who exert them and that to me is this energy right here um, this is the Taurus energy which is all about um, authority it is about power father figure um, and it's also about achievements discipline again and tradition so that really goes with this particular card um, so you've got that very, very strong Taurus energy coming through. The other thing as well we mentioned here is tradition. And we spoke about sort of family as well, that they want something long term. This person's very ambitious. They seem to be, again, very, very financially, uh, financially very well off from what I see here with the nine of pentacles. So again, you see that here as well with sort of corporations and structure um, and discipline achievements as well. They do, they are very good at what they do. So that's really coming through here, especially with I achieve. So this person is uh, very good at what they do basically and again that Taurus energy is very strong <laughs> It's just another Taurus energy card that we see here as well so very strong Taurus and Scorpio energy and we really like nailed it down or um, not nailed it we gathered it down to sort of like two big main signs remember this could be in their Sun moon rising or Venus signs um, so we got here second house this is the house of resources materials possessions and values here is where we see our belongings wealth and finances as well as the pillars of which material intellectual and emotional security is developed again Taurus energy pillars do you see those pillars there and there so um, yes house of resources material possessions and values, right? So that is exactly what the Hierophant is all about, values. And you've got those two keys crossed over as well. Belongings, wealth as well is something we spoke about. Finances, again, Taurus is the pentacle energy. Um, yeah, emotional security, again, Taurus energy. Okay, that's interesting that we have a lot of Taurus energy going on, but uh, I have, you know, so this person has a lot of things, but, uh, you know, they are definitely wanting some love for sure that's something that comes through so uh, yeah I mean that Taurus energy is very powerful so sometimes you know uh, there will be like seven eight signs that come through sometimes four signs will come through and sometimes there's two signs sometimes there's one that's more dominant in this case there is definitely one dominant sign and that is Taurus the other sign we saw of course is Scorpio which was sort of hiding behind the sort of Pluto energy of the judgment card because Pluto is actually ruled by um ju sorry judgment rules is ruled by Pluto and Pluto and Scorpio go together. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. So it's a little bit more hidden, you know, that one. This side is definitely very prominent and dominant. Let's go to the charm reading. So let's go with the letters first. All right, so this could be initials. It can also spell out words for who is coming next. I don't feel like this person's intentions are necessarily bad. Um, that's something I want to say. Now let's go with the crystals. I'm so excited about these crystal messages. Let's grab two of these. Just trying to mix, mix them up as well at the same time. Okay, so what do we have? So we've got a D and another D. We've got a P and an N and a Q and a K. So we haven't got that many letters for this reading but we have got accept and we have got courage as well which i think is really interesting you know this color scheme literally reminds me of the karma card because it's gray and it's also got this brownish sort of color um way to it and i think that's really interesting hmm. okay let's go with the charms and see what the charms are saying then we'll go back to this Oh, wow look at this more crystals um, so you've got here the I believe this is the sacral chakra energies so I feel like intimacy with this person would be quite spectacular but of course you know don't force yourself and um, make that decision for yourself I think that's really really important I'm just saying that that's something that's coming through so of course I'm telling you um, you've also got here the heart chakra energy as well so you would really feel a lot of love towards this person and I feel like this person would really accept you and they would have a lot of courage to do that as well because I definitely feel like this person has had perhaps some rough times um, especially in regards to trusting other people and uh, really just um, being taken advantage of at times. So they've really become very courageous in the pursuit for love and the pursuit for a healthy long-term relationship because this person has a lot financially and that's something that's coming through and they could have been taken for granted or you know advantage at some point. So it really takes them a lot of courage to try and find someone who is not taking that for granted. Um, so that's what we have here. Again, you've also got these 
with the solar plexus chakra. So these three chakras are really great to meditate on. You'll find lots of tutorials on YouTube as to how you can meditate on specific chakras, but solar plexus chakra, sacral chakra, and heart chakra are three that are really, really great to manifest. Also this person to maybe even come in faster, you know, because we did mention a nine and it was uncertain as to like, you know, how much of that nine is really there. Um, but we've got the U as well. So we've got another... Um, another letter. The one thing I do see here is pun. Like, you know how people make, like, have puns and they talk in puns, like, very sarcastically or, like, funny in that sense? Not exactly, it's not exactly sarcastic, but, you know, it's, it's in a way that is just kind of, you know, punny, like, it's, you know, funny. Um, so pun, like, maybe they, they joke around like that, but it can be really funny. You've also got here um, this, like, colander, so, um, you know, which, I mean, I feel like this person could be a real foodie as well, like really enjoys food, perhaps really enjoys um, things like spaghetti or pasta and things like that. Uh, we also have here as well, and that's of course not the only stuff that you would put in, you know, a colander, but that's what I'm just seeing. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm hungry because my stomach is rumbling, but again, this is not about me, this is about you guys. So we've also got this bird on the branch as well. So um, again, they're really trusting themselves. You know, the bird is never afraid um, of the branch snapping. The bird always knows that they've got the wings to fly, so they're not afraid, you know, like if they land on a branch and it snaps, they know that they can fly. So this person's very sure of themselves and very confident, but also is very courageous at the same time, like we said here. Now you've also got here as well, this like dress as well, and this kind of reminds me of like a wedding dress. Um, so that's really interesting because I also see the key here, like this person really wants something long term. You've also got these two, oh look at that, basically like wedding bands, right? And um, like engagement ring. So again, that is definitely an energy that I see here. This person wants a long-term connection. And I feel like whoever's coming to you next is is really, that's their intention, is, is to form a long-term relationship. And then you've also got here, a sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, laugh with. So this person is definitely, like they, this person could have a sister is what I'm seeing, or someone who's like a friend who is like a really um, supportive person. And um yeah, you may really get along with with their family. That's something I'm seeing as well, like really getting along with their family and feeling very connected to them, which I think is really interesting um, as well. Or your sister, for example, really getting along with this person. So that's what we have there, group number two. If this re reading resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Check out the description box below for information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, and of course, intention items, which are on Etsy. And do take care, everyone. Bye. Okay, so we now go to group number three. Yes, group number three. And I am going to place these items in here. Let's take these out, put them in here. Okay, so take these and these and these okay okay all right so let's grab this as well Group number three, let's see who is coming to you next and what are their intentions? I think very, very important questions that we definitely need to know about. So you have chosen this sort of reddish, pinkish pile. I'm just gonna put the glitter right there. I'm gonna put the heart on this side as well on either side of the door. I'm gonna do an eight card spread with tarot, then we're gonna look into some oracle cards. I'm also gonna try and give you some signs as well as in star signs or sun signs or you know, well, signs could be, you know, moon, sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Um, and also we will do a charm reading with letters, charms, and also crystals which have messages written on them. I'm really excited about that bit. So let's have a look and get started. Who is coming to you next? Oh my gosh. Okay. The cards literally just like came out. There's a bit of a pile here. And then you've also got the king of cups. <laughs> that literally scared me, but it's okay. Wow. 
Okay, so you've got the King of Cups, you've got the Ace of Cups, you've got the Four of Wands, you've got the Six of Coins, you've got the Knight of Swords. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, all right. Seven of Coins. Eight of Wands. I need to shuffle a little bit more on camera. It's just that I have to reach over a little bit more, but that's okay. I'll do that as so long as you can see. Let's take this one. What is the six of wands? Wow, okay. It was just poking out and I was like, I feel it's that one, you know? It's really leaning towards the reading. Wow, okay, so <laughs> the, the person that's coming to you next is someone who just really wants to get to know you, okay? And someone who could have been sort of eyeing you up for a little while, I know that sounds really bad, doesn't sound like a very good phrase, who has basically um, seen you for a little while and really admired you. That's a better way of putting it, I feel. Um, and I just feel with this King of Cups that this is someone who's very mature, someone who's very understanding, someone who just kind of has themselves together and is very kind, very respectful, and very, very, just very gentle, but also very emotionally available. So this is not someone who you would be around and feel afraid that, you know what, you can't speak about your emotions or you can't speak about deeper topics, that like you can go very in depth with this person because they will love it. They're, this is the kind of person that you could sit with and have very late night talks with and they're just there, they wanna listen, they wanna be there, they care a lot and um, they're very mature, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, very mature and fun, you know, not just someone who's mature and serious and kind of just, you know, very, very serious. Um, although serious is not bad, you know, but some people can be so serious to the point where they just never want to have fun. And I feel like you're the kind of person that would appreciate fun. And this person is fun too, okay? With the Knight of Swords, adventurous, they like to go out and do things. Um, so their intentions would be to offer something that is long term. And that's what I see here is that this person is fun, adventurous, they kind of, you know, have got themselves together in many ways and they are so, so ready for something that is long term and something that they can really open their heart to with the Ace of Cups. This is an offer. So this person is ideally looking to settle down. That is the Ace of Cups. The Seven of Coins here as well shows a very, very strong energy of like, you know, them sort of really having done a lot of um, inner work, growing, healing, getting themselves together to really be able to get to that point where they can offer this Ace of Cups. You know, the Four of Wands is a beautiful, divine energy. The Eight, the, <laughs> oh wow, I just feel like I'm talking about, you know, I want to talk about all of these cards, but the um, Ace of Cups with the Four of Wands is literally about just them wanting to open up their heart and their soul. This is about celebration. This can also be engagement and marriage as well. Um, this person wants to get to know you. They want to build a home. I know this sounds like a lot right now and it's like, whoa, Moonlight, like, that is a lot, but that is the nature of these cards. I mean, you've got the Eight of Wands, which is about things progressing very, very quickly between you and this person, but also them being very open throughout the entire process, not hiding anything from you. They'll tell you anything that you want to know, especially with the Knight of Swords combined with the King of Cups. This is about real openness. This is about progression. This is about joy. This is about moving things in a way that are just very natural, very progressive. Eight of Wands, very, very important, which is, you know, about flow and direction and progression. And the Four of Wands is about divine protection as well. You know, it's like the universe is telling you, you know what, this is, this is right for you and this is what's coming. Six of coins. You know, it's, it's very mutual in the sense where you give, they give, you give, they give, you message, they message, um, you know, you give a gift, they give a gift, they give a gift, you give a gift. Like it's very, very mutual. You say something that is bothering you and they support you, but then they will tell you something that's maybe bothering them and you support them. It's very, very mutual. That is the six of coins. As we see it here, it is a mutual energy. And the six of wands here is about celebration, fulfillment, excitement. This person really wants something that is long term and this person would really appreciate you for who you are and definitely be very nurturing. You've got the pink glitter which is about the feminine energy of nurturing and that sort of kind caring energy as well and really you know being true to you in many ways and then also you've got the red heart which is about love and being open and it's also about intimacy and attraction and chemistry as well so that's who is coming that is who is coming next to you. Wow 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 okay so let's go with the oracle cards now and see who is coming next to you. Wow, look at that, gifts. Let's get another one. 
again, it's a very beautiful card, right? Gift here as well um, with the six of coins. Just goes to show this person will love to give gifts and will love to be, you know, very open with you in that sense of giving gifts. Sorry, this deck is really hard to shuffle on camera because I'm going to like hit the hand. So I just have to shuffle a little bit off camera. Because I can't shuffle it this way because my hands don't actually fit all the way around the deck. Ooh, dating queen. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so, <laughs> wow. Wow, okay, look at these gifts, right? So I definitely feel like this person is a giver in terms of gifts. Now, I just wanna say that I don't specifically read um, genders in tarot um, or, you know, really in readings in that sense because for general readings, <laughs> there's so many people watching and everyone has their own preferences, right? Um, whether you are interested in males or females, whether you're a male or female yourself, you know? So the thing here is that it definitely goes to show is that this person will try and pursue you, this person will try and woo you, this person will send you gifts and things like that. But also it's very equal and mutual where I feel like you will also want to do nice things for them and, you know, that will really solidify the fact that you're not just in it for the gifts and things like that to them. The other thing as well is that, you know, we have here flowers, we also see as well, you know, these presents as well, so yes, this person will be a giver, okay, not just in terms of gifts, but also listening to you and um, giving you feedback, giving you an answer, you know, again, that is a gift in itself to have someone who is there, who is willing to listen and be 100% there for you in the way that you need them to be there for you, right, and it's not just about the materialistic things, but it's also about the emotional things too, right? So let's have a look and see what we can get here. Five, six, seven. So we've got seventh house, if I am not mistaken. <laughs> so seventh house, this is the house of partnerships. Here is where we can see the personal relationships that involve commitment or cooperation of some sort, marriage, spiritual union, agreements, societies, and business partnerships. So there you go. Okay, so this really is lining up very, very strongly. It says, I relate. So this person will really be able to relate to you. This is about them wanting marriage. This is about them wanting a strong relationship. We have here commitment, right? This is about them working towards something that is just, you know, big, of course, you know, this is like spending uh, a lifetime with someone. So this is the kind of person that is coming to you next. And this is their intention is to have something much more long term. Um, and that's what we're seeing here. Now, this person could also be in business. Um, it could be that they, um, you know, have their own business or they work in a very large corporation. Um, so something to come that's coming through, it seems to me like they're also very financially stable as well. And they've had a lot of time to sort of build things up. We've also got third house as well. So it says here, this is the house of the mind and ideas. Here is where we see the concrete thinking, thoughts, communication, mental agility, and the capacity to relate to the most immediate and daily social environment, like siblings or neighbours. So this person's very caring about their environment and the people around them as well. And also that they're a really great communicator, but also mental agility is there. And um, yeah, they're, they're a really good thinker, but they're also very good at how they conduct themselves and also how they give and what they do. So this person is very wholesome, is what I would say. Um, I feel like you've got sort of that Gemini energy coming through there as well. Um, you've also got some Libra energy, I want to say as well. Um, you've also got Capricorn energy because you've also got this sort of Saturn um, energy with also Aquarius as well. So those are the signs that I'm seeing. I'm seeing Libra, I'm seeing Gemini, I'm seeing Capricorn, and I'm seeing Aquarius um, with the cards. So Saturn here is about boundaries, limitations, delays, and responsibilities. So this person could take some time to come in, but I also feel as well that it's because they're, you know, they're really getting themselves together in such a strong way and they're totally, totally ready. And it's only a matter of time before you meet them, but also that this person has their own boundaries and that they always want to do the best that they can do. And they are always very respectful of your boundaries. And that's something that's coming through is that they will be, you know, they will be when you meet this person, obviously. So that is what we have there. Let's go to charms which I'm so excited about. <laughs> I'm always excited when there's like a new thing that gets added to my readings. And uh, obviously that's exactly what's happening here. So we have got, um, uh, sorry, letters. So the letters can be initials, can also spell out words for, you know, your, the person coming to you next. We've got an L-E-A. We have got an, another A, we've got a W, we have got an F, 
and we have got an L. Well, I definitely feel like there is going to, you know, you're, you're going to fall for this person. Um, I feel it very, very strongly. Um, so we've got four. And let's go with the crystal messages. So this can very much so give a bit more of an idea to your reading. I'm going to grab two. That's one. Two. So you've got nurture and you've got here hope. Wow, okay, so this person's definitely going to hope that you will be more interested in them. That's something that's coming through. And also with nurture as well, it just goes to show as well that this person is going to be very kind, very nurturing. Again, with this um, pink sort of like feminine energy and their heart as well, really being in it as well. That they're going to really try and nurture the connection as much as possible and try and give you as much as they can, um, especially with these energies, like this person's a very kind soul. Now the other thing is you have got the King of Cups, so I do wanna mention as well, it is possible that this person could be a water sign as well just want to you know throw that out there but the other thing that I picked up here is that you have got this sort of Aquarius energy coming through which is also known as the water bearer and that was the sort of like the more main sign energy that was coming through there as well but the nurture here really goes very strongly with the king of cups as well okay so let's go to charms <laughs> my hand has or my finger has got stuck in the world <laughs> so you've got here the world this is interesting. I feel like this person loves to travel and this person would totally want to take you on trips with them as well. You've also got wall as well, which I think is really interesting. You've got wall. So this person definitely is very respectful of your boundaries. The world card in tarot actually does have boundaries on it as well. If you um, look at that particular card, which I think is so interesting that you've got wall and then you've got here this, and you also had the card which says boundaries on it. So this person's very, very respectful, but also loves to travel. We've got another F here as well. Um, we've also got the shoes. This person can be, again, someone that is chasing you, coming after you, pursuing you in that sense as well. But again, doing so with your boundaries in mind. We also have here as well, a sister is someone to dream, cry, sing, laugh with. So this person could have a sister um, that you really get along with, or if you have a sister, they could get along very well with your sister. And again, it just feels like a really nice sort of family vibe. Um, so that's something I see. And we've also got the colander, which means that they could be, um, you know, they may love... Um, cooking, they may love making things, um, baking things, but also they may love, you know, pasta or spaghetti or things like that, because those are the kinds of things that I really think about when I think of a colander. I mean, also like, you know, you put vegetables and things like that, you know, when you're trying to like wash them and things like that, but you know, th th I'm just seeing a colander, okay? So <laughs> I thought I'd just mention that. So this is your reading, group number three. If this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget also that um, the charms and letters are available on my Etsy store, as well as a bunch of other intention manifesting items as well so do check those out and um, my Etsy store is linked down below if this reading resonated with you do uh, comment down below as well and let me know um, how it resonates and don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel don't forget to click that little bell next to the subscribe button as well um, whilst you're at it <laughs> it just makes sure that you uh, that every video of mine goes into your subscription box on YouTube and of course, the private paid readings, free reading giveaway, that's all listed in the description box below as well. And I hope that you will take care. I hope this reading really, really helped you as well and gives you a ton of clarity. And uh, yes, I hope to see you all very, very soon. And definitely do take care, everybody. Bye.